All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the fascia release. A lot of people don't know how to do the fascia. The fascia is between the skin and the muscle. It's like a small little tissue that, is, that gets really tight when you have pelvic floor dysfunction. Sometimes that happens, you clench and then everything goes in and you get tight and you get tight and you get tight and everything just pulls. And then that's why sometimes you, you, you urinate more. This applies to females and males. You know, your fascia needs to be released. All the, it's all in your, it's all in your stomach, all the way down to your pubic bone, connects to your pubic bone, it goes inside, goes to the back. When I do it, when I do my fascia release, I can feel that it's pulling on my pelvic floor on the inside. I can feel it that it's pulling up. The first time I did this exercise, I felt like it, it released something in my bladder. Uh, so this is going to help a lot of people with pelvic floor dysfunction, prostatitis, uh, CPPS, you know, pelvic floor non-bacterial prostatitis, because we clench, you know, we're, we're, we're tight and then all these muscles are getting tight. So now we're shrinking everything and that's why we're like this the whole time. So we need to stretch it out. We need to stretch. I didn't know this until I found out on how to do this exercise. This is called the monkey bars. And believe it or not, this thing works. Try it and you will see that it works. If you don't have one of these at your house, this is like one of these pull-ups. I got it. We, we got it for free actually. We, they gave it to my wife. And uh, it works pretty good. You know, you put it on your door frame and you just got to hang on it. And when you hang, it's funny. You hang and you start stretching all this out, man. If you got a tight pelvic floor, you're going to feel it right away. I, I felt it on my left testicle. I started feeling like something was pulling. I felt it on my adductor. It's crazy. Like just from hanging like that. And I'm going to show you. So when I hang, you hold on to it like this, right? And then you drop all your weight down. And then your legs got to go back like this. And you just stretch for 30 seconds. So you hold it like this. Take some nice breath. Do whatever you can. I do about 30 seconds. I try to do about 30 seconds. But if, if you can't handle the 30 seconds, then start slow. Start whatever you can. And then uh, work your way up. But this right here, man, you stretch. I'll show you in another angle on what I mean by this. And then you just, you just got to let your whole body just drop. You know what I mean? And let... You're gonna start feeling all the pull. It's gonna pull all over, like all your muscles are gonna start pulling. The fascia starting to release. It's kind of, you know, it's a little hard to understand. In the beginning, it was hard. It's getting a little better for me. But this, believe it or not, if you got pelvic floor dysfunction, CPPS, you know, prostatitis, non-bacterial, this right here. All right. Even if you have, let's just say you have pelvic floor problems. See, but this is what I mean, look. Your body's gotta look like this. I'm just gonna do it right here. See, your body's gotta look like this. See that? This is another angle. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Sideways like this. So you just, it's, what it's doing is pulling all of this, or it's pulling all of this and all of this. Your entire stomach is getting pulled. Everything is getting pulled. So it's stretching, it's stretching it, and it's releasing a lot of the tension. Believe it or not, right here, it's all the tension right here. That's why, we, we urinate a lot. Maybe that could be it. It could be sometimes you're like, oh, I can't solve the puzzle. You go to the pelvic floor therapist and you can't solve the puzzle because you're still having a hard time. And they're probably not releasing your fascia. I'm not going to tell you, you know, there's a lot of pelvic floor therapists that don't tell you about this, man. I had to go to three of them. And the third one is the one that actually uh, told me about this. Some of them don't know. They just, they just go in there and do the triggers and they think that's going to be okay. Sometimes it could be your doctors giving you this problem. It could be your hip giving you pelvic floor dysfunction. It could be your fascia pulling everything up and you don't even know it. It could be something so simple but so complicated when you can't find the answer. So if you do the fascia release, this might help you. Look, there's another, this is another one that I do. Okay, you hold on. You hang like this. This is to release. See, you put, so you put your hand. Let's just say you put, this is my left hand. Put it up and then you throw your right foot forward and then this one back. And then what you do, you just lean. You lean. Okay, you lean to the to the same side. And now you're going to feel all the stretch right here. You're going to feel everything stretching from the top all the way down to the side. If you hang, the more you hang, the more you let your body limb. I think that's what the word that I'm looking for. I'm bilingual, so my, you know, bear with me. So if you lean sideways like this, it'll start pulling all your muscles or your fascia starts releasing okay so now you're doing this side the left side 
And then now you can do the right side. Now you do the same thing. Now you put your right hand up, put your left leg forward like this, like you're gonna, you know what I mean? And then your the back one like this, you drop, and then you just lean to the side. And now you're getting all this, you're stretching all of this now. You can feel it right away, man. If you got a tight fascia, you're gonna know right away. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel the, the tightness and, and how nasty it feels. That could be your problem. Honestly, that could be your problem. You do this, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I mean, the minute, even better. If you can do a minute, but I don't think you're gonna be able to do a minute because in the beginning, I'm not saying that you're not strong or anything. It just takes time. Because for me, it's taking a lot of time. And then this one too. You could actually hang on, hang, put your legs up. And then you could just side to side, side to side, pick your legs up, side to side, side to side. Pick your legs up, pick your knees up, pick your knees up, like you're kicking forward, you know? Think about you having a ball, like a soccer ball, and you're trying to kick it up. This is going to release all your fascia, okay? This, you could actually do all kinds of stuff. You could actually do this, too. You could hang and go forward and backwards like this. Just, you know, side with side. Whatever you feel, you could do anything, anything you want. You could just, you know what I mean? like a fish out of the water. And then you could do, what I do is I do this, and then I just go forward, like, like if I'm leaning. You know, like if I'm, like if I'm swinging in a swing, you know? But I use my feet to stop me. And then you can feel the stretch on your stomach. You can feel the fascia releasing. Do this every day. I don't miss a day, I do it every day. It's just kind of like doing the cobra, you know when you, when you, okay, think about this as being the floor, right? And you're on the floor, and then you do this, and you do this, you know what I mean? It's the same thing, it's like the Cobra, but this is not effective. The Cobra, it's not as effective as doing this. This right here, I'm telling you, this one right here. You wanna release the fascia? This. You start doing this, like I, oh, this one. Actually, this is the more effective one. You're gonna feel, the first thing you're gonna feel is your, your bladder. It's gonna pull up, man. This is probably what you need, and it's crazy if you if you gotta if your if your pelvic floor is very tight, you're gonna feel that thing moving. If it's pu pulling something, you're gonna get. Let's just say you do this, and then you're gonna get a referral pain, which you're pulling up here and you're pulling up here, and you start feeling it down here. You know that could be a problem. That means there's something going on in your fascia that is pulling everything else on the bottom. As crazy as it sounds. I don't understand it, and I don't know why, but that's the way it is. So when you have, when you want to release your fascia, this is what you do. You just pull and pull. This is the best way to do it. You know, some people tell you to do the rolls. Like, some people do it like this. Like, let's just say you grab your skin right here. I'm going to do it. So you grab your skin. See, this is your skin. This is my skin. So you start rolling up. Start rolling up. This is another way to release your fascia. If you don't have, if you don't have a, one of these pull-up things yet, you can buy it. You can buy it on Amazon or, or, or you know, or eBay or offer up and just try to buy a cheap one. You don't even have to spend a lot of money. So you do this. You roll your skin. You roll. You roll. You roll. This is another way to release your fascia. Okay, it's another way. You just, just roll, roll, roll your skin all around, all around, all around. You're gonna feel it. You know, you just roll. So this is not my shirt. I'm actually wearing my skin, but I'm very skinny right now. So this is my. It's like you can say this is like my body fat. And you just roll. I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see. Look. So I grab, I pinch, like if you're pinching your skin, and then you just start rolling your skin down. See, all the but you gotta go all the way to your pubic bone, okay? All the way. I'm not gonna do all that crazy stuff, but you guys get what I'm saying. You just roll, 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 roll. Spend some time doing this at night before you go to bed or early in the morning when you wake up. You do it anytime, you know, every time. And this is another way of releasing your fascia. But to me, this is way more effective, man. Seriously, it's called the monkey bars. You do this, and just hang, or go to the park. Like if you don't have one of these, go to the park and stretch, stretch, stretch like this. Go, go to any park where it has monkey bars and do this. Trust me, trust what I'm telling you. Trust what I'm telling you. You're gonna release your fascia and you're gonna feel a lot better. This is just one of the videos that, uh, that is, this is one of the things that is helping me right now. You know, there's, I'm gonna be putting, posting more things up but I hope you guys find relief. If you guys find relief with this, if you guys find something, put it down in the comments, all right? Let me know how you feel and how, how did you feel. 
so other people could read that I'm not, you know, that I'm not the only one getting uh, uh, actually results from this. So if you uh, if you're getting results from it, or if you start getting results, post it right here on my on my leave a comment, you know, share, subscribe. You know, we want I want more people to know about what I'm doing because it's not cool. I understand. I'm going through it right now, and I'm getting ready to go get the injections on my prostate. I'm gonna fly to Europe, but this is what I'm doing right now that is keeping me calm. I mean, the pain is, it drops the pain. I have a bacteria, I have a bacteria in my prostate, but a lot of people don't have this. You know, a lot of people just have pelvic floor dysfunction, and this might be the solution to your problem, man. So if this helps you, let me know. Remember, do it every day, mark my words, man. Something's gonna give, because if, you, if you're urinating a lot, or you just got pelvic floor pain, this could be it. It could be the fascia. You need, just need to release it and you'll probably be back to normal along with your pelvic floor, of course. And first, make sure that you're okay with the doctors, okay? That the doctors already told you that you got pelvic floor dysfunction and there's nothing else wrong with you, then start doing this. And make sure that you don't have back problems or anything like that because I don't want you to hurt yourself and then like, oh, I well, well, was doing this. You should know if you're a grown up or you're a grown adult and you're watching my video because I'm not sharing this for kids. So... You should be able to know what you have. If you got other issues like back injuries, arm injuries, you know, you know, hip injuries or you know, elbows or neck injuries, I don't know if you want to do this. But if you're like perfectly just fine, like the way I am, and just you just got pelvic floor dysfunction, then this is this should be try it. I mean, you will try it and go slow, go very slow. Don't go 30 seconds. Try it, you know, even if it's a few seconds at a time until you start building up because that's the way it works. You should know this. I don't even have to explain, but I feel like sometimes you have to tell people. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a chiropractor. I'm not a, a therapist. I'm just telling you what's working for me, and it might work for you too. But that's only if you were diagnosed and you know there is nothing else, and you don't have any, any other issues, and this is maybe you want to try this. And, and the fascia release is probably the most simplest thing to do. Like I said, if you don't have these bars, you could always release rolling it, running your skin all the way down to your pubic bone, all the way, all the way, and then back up. I mean, they show me ways to do it on my testicles for men, you know what I mean? And then on the sides to do the fascia release, but that's a little bit too, you know, intimate. I don't want to, none of that stuff. But um, but as far as this, this works for men and females. And I think this is going to benefit a lot of females that actually, that are urinating a lot. So if you see this video and you know somebody that's urinating a lot, this could be it. It could be their fascia is really tight. And they're like, oh, I'm always peeing, I'm always peeing. Maybe they don't have an infection. Maybe they just have a tight fascia and they need to just release it. So that's all I got for today. Subscribe, share, follow, comment. If something works, if this works for you, if this exercise works for you, please share, comment, okay? Leave a message, leave, leave something, information so other people can read it and, 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 and maybe they can help, you know, or maybe you can help somebody else. If you get cured from this, you know, and you did this and it worked for you, Maybe you could share my video or tell them what you did. You know what I mean? That way other people could find answers because this is not, I know how it is to live with, you know, pelvic floor dysfunction, pelvic floor, you know, pain. It, it's, it's terrible. It's horrible. I'm going through it now, but it's calming me down. It's keeping me, the pain has dropped. You know, just doing this and going to the gym, it has dropped. But I'm going to keep putting videos now and I hope, you know, that somebody could find relief from this. And I, I, even if it's one person, it's going to make me, uh, feel accomplished that I help somebody else because I'm paying it forward. You know, whatever I'm doing, I don't want to stay quiet because the medical field is not going to tell you this. The doctor, I don't even think pelvic floor therapists are going to tell you this. I'm telling you because I found out about this and it works. It works. It's effective. It's helping me already. I've been doing it for a week, a little bit over a week, and I, I felt the difference. The first day I hung, I'm telling you, I felt like something just pulled. Like it was weird. Like like it released. It was like automatically I started feeling a lot better it was weird it took a couple days and then it started feeling a little better so if the fascia release helps you go for it you know but make sure you don't have any other medical conditions okay please you know go to your doctor go to your chiropractor go to your pelvic floor therapist and tell them you're going to start doing this if you're not sure you know that this is going to be the right thing for you i'm just letting you know that this is what i'm doing and it's helping me and it might help people that are normal like me that don't have any shoulder injuries or neck injuries or back injuries. I don't have none of that. I just got, I just have pelvic floor dysfunction from what I know, okay? And I have a bacteria. When you have bacteria and you're clenching, you're clenching the whole time, of course, this is what's going to happen. You, all your muscles are going to get tight. 
You might get muscle inside your legs right here, on your front, on your hips, on your back right here. You might get pain right here. You might get pain on your back right here. Weird, you start getting butt pain. You know what I mean? You start feeling weird on the bottom. This, when you do that, it'll release all that stuff, believe it or not. It's just crazy how it works. That's just the way it is. Like I said, leave a comment, like, share, follow. Remember, we need to pay it forward. We got to help our brothers brother, and sisters because nobody's going to tell us this, man. I'm doing it for free. This is for free. This is free information that I'm just passing along because I want to be a good person. Because I told myself that if I get cured, I'm going to cure other people. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that other people don't suffer that long. Because they're not going to tell you. You're going to keep taking pills and pills and pills. And you're not going to go nowhere. All right? So take care. Another thing that works is CBD oil. You might want to look into that. Full spectrum CBD oil. Uh, 60 milligrams and up. It might work. I'm just, I'm just sharing what works for me. Do your research before you do anything. Ask your doctor. Ask whoever you need to ask. And go for it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.